I thought I liked to chest just so much, so I meant nothing would top it, but I think this is gonna top it. It's very cool to be able to see a shop where the Romans shopped. So today is a long weekend and so we still haven't found a place in London. Well we have but we're still waiting on contracts and everything being finally approved so we can't look at more places but we can't move in anywhere. So we thought why are we even in London if we can't enjoy it properly? So we thought we'd go on a road trip um, because of the long weekend and so we're actually going on a road trip around Wales and this is our first stop. However, we're not in Wales. So <laughs> good start. We thought on the way to Wales we'd drive through a town called Chester. Chester is one of the oldest towns in the UK. Um, it was founded by the Romans and it has some of the most well intact Roman ruins in all of the UK. So, we're starting our day early so we can get in before the crowds. That's my ammo. We decided to start our day in the centre of town in front of the Chester Rose. Um, and so it's these buildings that have the traditional white and black um, architecture and it is built in the 12th century. No one knows why they were built, but they're very well preserved and they're currently some shops, so you can go around and look into it if you want to. Just down the road from all the Chester Rows is actually the Old Gate East bridge so it's just an iconic bridge and that actually links up with the walls of the city which Chester is the only walled city in the UK uh, because of the Roman influence so we're going to go take a walk around the city walls in a bit but silly not to stop and look at the bridge when you're right here. We're going to climb the city wall. We've just come up next to the gate um, and walking along the walls, which is very cool. Um, and then there's the massive cathedral, which is also free to go in. Just not on a public holiday like today. <laughs> Along the outside of the town with the wall it has lots of entry and exit points so you can get stopped to go and look at the cathedral or at the falconry or this castle thing which has the tiniest door I've ever seen it's an Yvette sized door Daniel wouldn't fit <laughs> I'm 5'2 <five two. laughs> the smaller days I told you people were short back in the day right. So the rows are the original buildings, but then they have converted them into shopping centers and like the shops inside. So I've actually gone inside the rows because I want to see what it looked like. And this is what it looks inside. And so it's all original, but restored. Um, and they've put a ceiling on it because it obviously rains a lot here. <laughs> but um, it's very cool to be able to see shop where the Romans shopped. 
So we've walked on the city wall and then we've come to the Roman gardens, which was actually a big Roman bath and it was the most spectacular structure they had in Chester at the time when the Romans were here. And so we're currently standing in the pool and then they had um, steam rooms, heated floors. The Romans were like so advanced for their architecture. Um, and it's still pretty well restored. Like these pillars are like thousands of years old. This was built in the first century AD. Like that's so old. <laughs> Uh, but now it's this really nice garden that you can come sit in and it has some beautiful wildflowers. There's also an uh, old tomb here. Um, it's amazing. It's crazy that this, this is free as well, just in the middle of the city centre. So these are the ruins from the bathhouse that had the heated floors. So they elevated the floor and then they pumped hot air through the bottom of it so it would heat the floors. So this is what remains of it. Pretty cool. Come out of the Roman gardens and just walk to the right, you come to the Roman amphitheatre. So this was where they did plays, battles, they also did political hearings, like town hall type things, singers, um, similar to the Colosseum but a lot smaller. <laughs> but this is what remains of it and it's crazy that's still here. So even though the Romans occupied Chester, founded it, once they left, um, the Brits obviously did destroy everything, which is very cool that you can still come and see Roman ruins in the middle of England. perfect mix of like historic it's got the ruins from home but also like traditional Britain with all the really nice architecture it's a perfect little day trip so then we've now made it to Wales so we can officially say we've been to Wales now um, we decided to do a quick stop on the coast of Colwynny Bay and unfortunately the way they can to make things you can't say I'm gonna go for a swim but it's a fun little road stop anyway just to break up the drive but um actually has sand which is fun because I didn't know anywhere in Europe that had sand so we've left Colwynny Bay and we've come to Conway. Connery? Connery. Connery? Conway, maybe. Who knows? I'll put the name somewhere. Um, but yes, it's a Welsh town just 20 minutes away from the bay um, and it has this beautiful castle which we're just in now. Um, it feels so Game of Thrones. It's amazing. Um, we keep looking around for three-eyed ravens and uh, white walkers while we're up here. But we've actually had pretty good, like, heat has been the best weather we've had. Um, I thought I liked Chester so much this morning that nothing would top it, but I think this is going to top it. Um, but the walk up here was even better because we got to do another walled city. So, cut to that. We're going to walk around the city walls again and we found an even smaller event sized door. <laughs> Into the castle! So this castle is just in the middle of town and it's destroyed but not completely destroyed so you can still walk everywhere in it um, and it's still pretty elevated but because of have pretty good weather like we've got views of all of the beautiful mountain, what do you call them? Hills? Hills! <laughs> Real technical word! Um, we have views of all the beautiful hills, all the green, so green hills um, all around Wales and then also a lake down to the right as well. So beautiful castle, beautiful views. This was £10 to get in. So worth it.
So this castle is like a thousand years old and it's so well, re like not restored, but like preserved. And I've never been able to walk around in like so well re preserved because normally they don't let you in if it's well re preserved. And if it's damaged enough for you to walk around, it's not as impressive. But we're currently standing in the dungeon. So you can like look up and see the sky and this is where they would have put all the baddies. But this has been my highlight of Wales so far. It is also my second stop, but I love it. So just as we were leaving Conwini Castle, uh, we walked around the town, it started to rain a lot. It was like a downpour. Um, so we got in our car and we've driven up to a place in Wales, which has the longest town name in the world, which I can't even begin to pronounce. It's like, we should, I'm gonna see if I can download an audio of someone saying it. I'll put it in. Um, but the translation is we'll cut. the Church of St. Mary by the Rapid Whirlpool in the ha White Hazel by the Cecilio of the Red Cave. <laughs> That's so wrong. Good. <laughs> yeah. It's the Church of St. Mary in the White Hazel by the Rapid Whirlpool by the Church of Cecilio of the Red oh. Cave. Imagine you being like, where are you from? Oh, I'm from <laughs> St. Mary, the Church of the Red Cave, whatever the hell he said. I didn't say fierce werewolf. That's good enough. Go Pro tip, if you are visiting this place, um, you have to come to the train station because it's the only place in the town that actually has the full name with all the letters in it, which is what you want to see when you come here. And they have some cool stuff in the gift shop. But this was the last stop of the day for our first day of our Wales road trip. Um, so we've done some iconic things, seen some castles, been to the world's longest town name, also walked around Chester, which wasn't really Wales, but still very cool, saw some Roman ruins. Really good introductory to the first day in Wales. Um, tomorrow we have an awesome day hiking Mount Snowdon. So if you want to see that, hit subscribe, like, thumbs up, all the good stuff, and I'll see you tomorrow.